Hi everyone, it's Mark here. In this little demonstration, I thought I'd talk you through the different components and findings that accompany the Chevron Czech glass beads. This is a range of findings made by Beadsmith and uh, it's absolutely taken the world by storm. It's part of the symbols finding range. And as I previously mentioned, this is all about the Chevron beads. So this is a Chevron bead. It's an arrowhead type bead with two drill holes which go through the bead vertically from point to base, point to base. So vertically drilled, not horizontally. And they come in a wide range of colours and amazing textures. And as I said, the symbols range is a fantastic range of findings that's been adapted by Beadsmith. And what they aim to do is to be able to, to provide findings and endings and substitute beads for all of the shaped check glass beads that are out there being used by the hobbyist. So I'll quickly talk you through some of the findings that accompany the chevron beads. So we'll give you the two endings first. We have two styles. This is the first one and this is called, wait for it, they've got amazing names. This one is called the Micronesi and as you can see it's perfectly formed to enable the chevron bead to sit exactly underneath. I'll leave it on the board. As you can see, it actually it fits absolutely perfectly. Now one of the things that I struggle with sometimes when I'm making seed bead designs is my finishing. Um, I normally make a seed bead loop, which then you would attach with a jump ring and a clasp. So these symbols findings are fantastic for finishing. So that's the first type of ending. And the drill hole goes through side to side. So as you can see, once you place your chevron bead in position you take your needle you go up through the chevron like so you go across the micronesi and then you go down the other side of your chevron bead and that is perfectly attached beautiful and if I show you a quick piece of jewellery that I've used that, that findings. It comes in gold, rose gold, silver, copper colours. So as you can see, this is how I've used it to finish off. So it's just waiting for me now to decide the clasp of my choice I'm going to add on the end. The second finishing. So instead of putting the finishing clasp inside the chevron, this one is going on the outside. And this is called the Kutakis. As you can see, it again fits absolutely beautifully. So you can see the difference in your pieces depending on whether you want the, the point to be pointing downwards or upwards. There's a class for each. Now this time, if I just pull this needle out. Now this time, what you do is you take your needle, you go up through the chevron, you go up through the katakis, which sits in position, and then you go either behind or in front, and then you sew down through the chevron and the kutakis, like so. Again, beautiful, beautiful finish, and that's another way, nice, neat way of finishing off your piece. Just take that needle off and I'll show you a piece of work that I've used. Again, I'll show you a... which one shall I show? Let's go for this one here. So this is a rose gold. And what I've done here is I've just popped a seed bead in between just to follow through with the design that I've made on the bracelet. Beautiful, isn't it? And again, this is awaiting my... Probably a toggle clasp, I would have thought, for this one. So this is called your Kutakis bead ending. So that's your Micronesi and your Kutakis. They're the two endings for the chevron beads. So next, let's talk about let's talk about the connectors. So the, the, we have two connectors. Let's move those out of the way. So the first one is this amazing stylish X, and this is called the Sostis. So we have a pattern on one side, and if we flip it over, 
it's it's like a little bow tie and it? we've got this beautiful indentation and it's it's like a satin finish and the two holes go again they follow the pattern so they go from side to side so if we wanted to, to, to take a chevron we go through the chevron bead now you can if you want to put a, a seed bead in between or a row of seed beads and then you sew through the finding. So again, as you can see, it fits absolutely beautifully. So a piece of jewellery, I'll bring one of these across. I don't want to ruin any surprises. Here we go, I'll bring this one across. Again, this is a rose gold. So this is your solstice in the middle here. So this is perfect for if you want to change direction. So as you can see, the chevrons are going south to north. And then on this side, they're going north to south. And it's just that simple little change of a little finding. Otherwise, you'd have to do some convoluted seed bead type move in the centre there to bring the two ends together. So that's your solstice. And again, as you can see, it comes in amazing colours. And then the second connector is this gold one here. And this is called, are you ready for this? This is called the Miliac Miliadico. Miliadico. There we go. And again, this comes in all three colours. We've got this amazing patination on the front. And then when I turn it over, again, it's it's slightly bevelled down the centre for a bit of interest. And it's, it's beautiful, beautiful finish. With this one, the drill holes go again from side to side. So we take our chevron. We go through the bead and then we go through the connector. This is more of a decorative bead really rather than a connector but as you can see this enables you then to change direction with your chevron bead rather than having one solid row. So if I bring the piece of jewellery across that I've used with this one. So this is this is the gold again. So as you can see this enables you to change direction with your beading. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And again, as you can see, I've popped a little seed bead in between, but there's nothing stopping you sewing straight through into the chevrons. So they're the two connectors. That's the Milia Deco, which is the one I'm showing you here. And the other one is called the Sistos, which is this amazing X, which just leaves the decorative beads now. So we have two varieties. Now these are absolutely beautiful because they are exact replicas of your chevron beads. The same positioning of the drill holes, the same diameter, the same size, the same measurements. It's absolutely perfect. And again, let's pop one in its place. So we have a drill hole. Again, it pops through and then we'll take another chevron inside so there are perfect okay now this one with the sort of um the the, the stripes going down into the point is called the is called the Kuduro the Kuduro and as you can see it's patterned on one side and plain on the other and the second style is is, is quite Aztec this one I'll pop a chevron on again it's quite an Aztec design Grab another chevron. Okay, and place that into position. And this one is called the Avesalos. So as you can see, they're incredible names, these findings. And again, as you can see, this exact the perfect shape of the of the chevron. It replicates it beautifully. The drill holes are in the same position. And what I've done here, let me bring some of the gold ones across. So again, as you can see, I've just replaced some of the chevron beads with the decorative substitutes. And I've even, if I bring this across, as you'll probably see in the other demonstration, I've made a pair of earrings, which I've incorporated in my pieces here. And again, this is the that amazing Aztec pattern, which is called the Avesalos. And then we've also, if I bring this one across, I've incorporated them in a pair of drop earrings and because of the, of the amazing colour I've incorporated them in the bottom of the drop just to add that bit of bling 
if you like. So I'm a massive fan of the Symbols range and as I said I think they've probably covered, Beatsmith, they've probably covered about 70-75% of the Czech glass bead shapes at the moment and they're always producing and inventing new styles and obviously more and more beads are being invented and brought to the market so it's a wonderful wonderful product and, um, and I can't advocate them enough. So this is the Chevron findings range from the Symbols. So I hope you enjoyed that little um, masterclass and I look forward to seeing your pieces incorporating these beautiful findings. See you soon. Bye.